Welcome to the Heal Your Hunger Show, where we get to the heart of why you overeat and how to stop. If you struggle with food and weight like I did, welcome home. Welcome to the Heal Your Hunger Show. So happy to have you here. It's a great day to be alive. And this is a continuation of my series on healthy, easy veggies you can make that are so healthy, so delicious, and take no time to prepare, especially with the help of some of our local stores. Um, today, I'm going to talk about zucchini spaghetti. Zucchini spaghetti one of my favorite things to eat. It's so easy to make um, and it's incredibly versatile and it's so not fattening. <laughs> so it's zucchini. I mean, come on. It's a uh, fiber and water <laughs> and some and some vitamins. So what's so cool about zucchini spaghetti is it takes the place of regular pasta, uh, spaghetti specifically. So you're not having all that uh, gluten and you're not uh, poisoning your body with uh, flour and uh, a heavy uh, pasta that puts fat on your butt. <laughs> so this is so healthy and nutritious and it's incredibly easy, but it's so yummy. And uh, if you've been listening for any length of time, you know that I love to swap out um, breads and, and things that are uh, uh, of a flower nature with alternatives. And I like to eat uh, more along the lines of paleo. So I'm not eating grains, which make me fat very quickly. When I eat grains, I gain weight very easily and I tend to get addicted. I want the grains. The grains uh, metabolize into sugar in your body. And if you have any kind of sugar addiction like I have, um, you'll want more all the time and so this is a way for you to avoid pasta but still get the sense that you're eating spaghetti because who doesn't love spaghetti so uh what's really cool is that whole foods now uh, makes this uh, zucchini spaghetti or at least my local one does um and hopefully yours will catch on if uh perhaps if if you're in an area where it's a smaller whole foods they might not but um you could always ask and let them know you're interested in this but frankly you know it, it's so easy to make at home you don't need whole foods to do it for you i'm just letting you know that you can pick pick up uh zucchini spaghetti off the shelf in the uh cut vegetable section in my whole foods they have a cut vegetable section so they cut up onions for you they cut up um tomatoes so you can make easy salsa um they do all kinds of uh preparation of vegetables so it's really easy to go home and make a stir fry or a, a dip or in this case uh zucchini spaghetti but if you don't want to do that, you can order from Bed Bath & Beyond this super cool uh, tool called the uh, Vigetti. Okay, and this is like the simplest little thing. It looks like a, it looks like one of those um, uh, timers, right? Where sand uh, falls through from the top to the bottom and you tip it over and it does it again. Well, this is actually has two blades on it. So um, the blades are where the zucchini goes um, and gets cut and then comes out the other side. I'm going to do a little de demonstration. So if you're watching this on video, you can see it. Um, but uh, if you're listening uh, through iTunes, uh, just imagine here, you put the uh, zucchini in the uh, vaghetti and you just start turning and what's happening is right away you're getting you're getting spaghetti okay so um if you can see it coming out here i'm probably you know this isn't my forte <laughs> so but it basically um this these long strands of zucchini come out and there you have uh, i mean you have amazing spaghetti and this is something you can eat either raw or cooked and I'm going to tell you about how to do both now uh, one of the recipes I love is when I eat this raw I get a big bowl of um, and maybe I'll, I'll do two uh, small zucchinis and it makes a nice big mound of uh, zucchini spaghetti and then I marinate it with some olive oil and cider vinegar and salt and pepper, put it in the fridge, let it marinate for like an hour. And then it's just a yummy, it's kind of a salad of, um, of spaghetti. And then I'll put maybe a clump of salmon salad on top, zam salmon that's mixed with mayonnaise or uh, veganaise. Um, which is a, a eggless version of mayonnaise. And voila, I have, I have this um, great 
uh, salmon salad with instead of lettuce I've used this um, vegetable spaghetti zucchini spaghetti it's fantastic now if you want to really go for it and ha like imagine that you're eating spaghetti what you want to do is you either want to saute um, these strings of spaghetti in a pan with olive oil and salt and pepper in which case they cook up really nicely they do get a little watery once you're done um, so you want to keep the lid off um, at least part of the time and let some of the water evaporate um, but then you have a you have a plate of spaghetti and then you treat it like spaghetti and you put tomato sauce or, or um, meat sauce on top with some cheese if you eat dairy or or maybe a dairy free cheese sprinkled on top and voila you have spaghetti i mean it really is like you're eating spaghetti i mean the meat sauce makes all the difference obviously in the cheese but it's so delish and you're not getting the calories from the pasta um, you're not getting the gluten from the pasta and you are eating a really healthy nutritious meal but you can do other things with it. You can make Asian noodles, um, sesame noodles with um, sesame and uh, rice vinegar and uh, scallions and just really peanut butter, either peanut butter or peanut butter powder. Um, there's some amazing recipes online um, for sesame noodles and using zucchini noodles. Frankly, you pull up any recipe that calls for spaghetti or noodles like this, stringy noodles, uh, fettuccine or whatever, and you can make a delicious dish um, substituting with zucchini noodles. And it's just such a great thing to do. You can also um, boil these, um, or I like to steam it sometimes. I'll put it in a steamer uh, for a very short period of time, and there you have it. You have your noodles already cooked. Um, you can also put in a covered dish and microwave it for two minutes. So there's numerous ways to cook your noodles, your spaghetti, um, and then you decide what you want to put on it, what it is, how you want to flavor it. You can get a pesto, um, you know, um, get some pesto sauce and put pesto on it or make a, um, a pesto sauce, a dairy-free pesto sauce with cashews or, or um, you know, uh, other, other ways that uh, vegetarian pesto sauce comes about. So uh, anything you want, you can put on these noodles or have them plain as a side dish and just use salt and pepper and butter. I mean, how yummy will that be? So this is just an easy way to get your vegetables that's more fun. Your kids will love it. They'll have so much fun with this new crazy spaghetti that they're eating, um, but it's healthy. It's healthy and nutritious. It's, an, it's very filling, especially when you have the right kind of sauce and it really makes a good meal. Um, but I love it. And it's just, a, it's a way to just spice up or spruce up my meals and, um, and it just will absorb whatever flavor you add to it. Um, but the, the name of the game is being healthy. The name of the game is really eating in a way that is so affirming for your body and eliminates any of the stuff that's going to make you feel bad, going to make you gain weight and going to give you a hangover later or cause you to crave more. Um, and you won't be addicted to zucchini noodles. You'll just enjoy them, but you won't be sneaking back to the kitchen to eat more when nobody's looking. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy this and uh, try it. Please try it. Remember, you can pick up the veggetti uh, at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. There are machines that do this automatically for you where there's a motor and it will turn and, and do this for you or a crank um, that'll crank um, and, and it'll come out with uh, these noodles. Um, nowadays, so many people are catching on that they're making all kinds of contraptions. There's even a small tool that's more like a, a carrot peeler that can, you can use to make the noodles as well. So take your pick. I paid about 10 or 11 bucks um, at Bed Bath & Beyond for the spaghetti, and that I love it. You have to be very careful because inside there are teeth, and when you're cleaning it out, you can completely cut your finger. So you have to be so careful. Do not let your kids clean the spaghetti, please. Um, you know, they'll, they'll get, they'll, they'll get poked and they'll bleed. So anyway, thanks so much. I hope this is helpful. Please share with a friend. It's time to be healthy and the stores do make it easier for us by uh, pre- um, preparing uh, spaghetti for us, but there's really no need. It's so easy to do it at home and your kids will have fun as well. So thanks so much. Love you. And I'll talk to you in the next show. Take care. If you enjoyed this show and want to get free support, insider health info, exclusive invites to events and more, visit healyourhunger.com.